dividing rational numbers. Let's review our rules for dividing integers. A positive divided by a positive equals a positive. A positive divided by a negative equals a negative. A negative divided by a positive equals a negative. And a negative divided by a negative equals a positive. These rules will apply to dividing all rational numbers. Yumiko has a drip hose attached to a rain barrel for her garden. The water drains from the rain barrel at a constant rate. What is the change in the volume of water after one minute? It is shown to the right that the water drains at a constant rate of negative three and three fifth gallons in six minutes. We need to find the change in one minute. Since we're going to be splitting up negative three and three fifths equally between six groups, we are going to divide. First, let's convert negative three and three fifths to an improper fraction. 5 times 3 plus 3 equals 18. Now let's keep the denominator. We're going to divide by 6 over 1. Now to divide two fractions, we must use the multiplicative inverse. So negative 18 fifths times 1 6. We can already see that our answer is going to be negative. Now let's multiply straight across. 18 times 1 equals 18. 5 times 6 equals 30. Now let's simplify this fraction. 18 and 30 are both divisible by 6, so let's divide by 6. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. The change in volume of water after one minute is negative 3 fifths gallons. The location of a submarine changes by negative 0.06 kilometer each minute. How much time does it take to get to the sea bottom? The sea bottom is located at negative 3 fourths kilometers. We also know that the submarine's location changes negative 0.06 kilometers each minute. So in order to find how much time it takes, we're going to break up negative 3 fourths into groups of negative 0.06. We will use division. Negative 3 fourths divided by negative 0.06. We have one fraction and one decimal. We have to make sure they're in the same form, so I'm going to convert the fraction to decimal form. 3 divided by 4 is 0.75. When we divide these two numbers, we know we're going to get a positive. This will equal 12.5. It takes 12.5 minutes to get to the sea bottom. The level of water in a pool changes by negative 2.31 inches over three and one half days. What is the change in water level each day? We can see that the total change of water is negative 2.31 inches. This happens over three and one half days. Let's divide to find the change of water each day, which will be in one day. We have one decimal and one mixed number. So let's make sure that they're both in the same form. We have negative 2.31 divided by, three is a whole number, one divided by two is 0.5. We know our answer is going to be negative because we have one negative and one positive. We will get negative 0.66. Each day, the change in water level is negative 0.66 inch. A boat drops an anchor 17.5 feet to the bottom of a lake. If the anchor falls at a rate of 700 feet each second, how long will it take the anchor to reach the bottom of the lake? The total distance the anchor drops is 17.5 feet. We can represent this using a negative because it is dropping. It falls at a rate of 700 feet each second. We're going to divide by negative 700 because it is falling. We have one decimal and one fraction, so let's make sure they're both in the same form. I'm going to convert the fraction to decimal form. Negative 17.5 
divided by 7 divided by 100 is 0 0.07. We can already see that our answer is going to be positive because we have two negative numbers we're dividing. We will get 250. It will take the anchor 250 seconds to reach the bottom of the lake. A tanker truck fills the gas station's reservoir at the rate of 12 and one half gallons per minute. If the reservoir was empty and it is now 35 gallons full, how long has the tanker been filling the reservoir? The reservoir is full at 35 gallons. We know that the rate that it fills is 12 and one half gallons per minute, which means in one minute, it fills 12 and one half gallons. So let's divide by 12 and one half. I have a whole number and I have a mixed number. I'm going to choose to make the mixed number a decimal. So we have 35 divided by 12 is a whole number. One divided by two is 0.5. When we divide these two numbers, we get 2.8. The tanker has been filling the reservoir for 2.8 minutes. Let's review our rules for dividing rational numbers. A positive divided by a positive equals a positive. A positive divided by a negative equals a negative. A negative divided by a positive equals a negative. And a negative divided by a negative equals a positive.